You're right. Six weeks ago, that was the future of residential real estate in, in the United States. Now it's, um, I think, a, an open question. Um, open Door, which was the pioneer of this model here, uh, laid off 40%, or I think it was 35% of their staff yesterday. Um, there's tremendous financial exposure in, in that business of buying and selling that many homes. Yep. Um, they have all gone on pause, all of the iBuyers, Zillow, Open Door, Offerpad, et cetera, Redfin's iBuyer business, they've all stopped buying homes. Um, what happens when that reopens? Nobody knows. Some people have suggested more people will want to buy a home with the click of a button rather than doing it in person. Others will say iBuyers are, you know, going to be in real trouble because you, you, the model only works in an appreciating market. Who knows? Um, but the model is going to be severely tested. You're right. And, and what's interesting about this crisis, as opposed to the Great Recession, which really started in housing mm -hmm. in the in United States here, is that started in 2008 and unfolded really over the next four years before we started to see a recovery. There was data along the way that allowed those predictive models to accommodate. Here, we effectively had an asteroid slam into the economy very suddenly. And how does a model in a week, two weeks, six weeks account for that? It can't. What, what is your house worth? I have no idea. Agree. Agree. It's impossible to.